If you'd like to use Schoology on your iPad, you just need to go to the App Store and search for Schoology. And when you find it, you can download it. It's free. And you can install Schoology both on your iPad uh, and your iPhone or iPod Touch. All right, so it's installed and ready to use. I click on Schoology. It pops up. I need to say uh, username login. And then I just start typing Elmwood. I can say search. It's going to find our school. There we are. Uh, now, for some reason right now, Elmwood School shows up three times. I'm just going to choose the top one. That seems to always work. They might all work. I'm not sure why it shows up three times. And then it brings you here to the Google login where you log in with your email address. And you can check stay signed in and click the sign in button. And now I'm lo I'm logged in. So if I go ahead, I can just um, push this little button here. I can go into my courses and choose whichever course I want. I can go into groups, and here I can go into our Schoology 101 group. I can go under materials and uh, discussions and start looking at right away at uh, discussions that we've had. I'm going to go back here for a sec. I can go into grades and I can pick one of my courses here and um, well, I don't have any students but if you did you could um, just like I showed you at our staff meeting you could start entering grades using sliders which is pretty cool I can pop over here into the calendar so I can see what's upcoming or click on the calendar button here and see what's on this day oh grade four trip we can say the first day with new students and um, school starts on this day. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's how Schoology works on your iPad and iPhone and iPod Touch.